Hi guys, I'm here at the annual woodworking show in Baltimore and I'm going to show you some of the highlights. Here at the entrance you can see all kinds of slabs sold and another vendor here is selling cherry, that's cherry again and that's the wench. Duke. That was a purple heart, another Paduk, cherry, and the curly maple again. Here's an interesting guy. He calls himself a crazy Canadian. His website is stockroom.com. He sells his shop made machines. You can either buy the whole machine that you can see here, or you can buy parts and make the same thing out of plywood. Look him up. I'm going to leave the link at the description. He's a cool guy. I met him last year. Okay, here's Felder. I see them for the first time at that show. It is a premium machine maker and they were showing their combination machine. As you can see it's a table saw with a router table and with the planer and the joiner. And also this is their band saw and some parts for their machines. There were a couple of antique tool dealers that come every year, Mike and John. They have a pretty good collection of vintage and antique tools. I always buy something from them. Here we see some saw sets, some hand planes, plow planes, molding planes and some layout tools. Here was a guy who was selling this type of boxes, like a whole bunch of them. Pretty good quality, I like them. And these guys next door were showing kids how to put nails in, a skill you barely use anymore. Here's uh, Jeffrey Noden, he's my old friend. He's there every year. He is an inventor and he's a woodworker. He presents his adjustable bench, an adjust the bench as he calls it. You can go to his website and check it out. Here's a video on him and I'm also gonna leave a link to his website. Okay, here's a woodpecker's guild and they were presenting with the stuff they make. Wood turning tools. You can see the Robert Sorby grinder. I have one and I love it. Woodpeckers, this is the owner. They make this type of clamps, layout tools, router lifts, all kinds of cool stuff. It's still made here in the States. There was a guy showing some beam joints. Here's an interesting little firm, Seneca. They make little jigs and little attachments for the Festool tools. Those things are for the Domina. They also make small clamps for the guide. Their stand was right next to the Festool stand right yeah, here. I'm sure there is a for it. Right. You can see the festal so, uh, Christmas decorations. And the stacks of sustainers. Craig presented with their new foldable table. And you can see there's like a clamp and you can also fold one of the wings. You can also make a larger table out of two of those horses, as you can see here. So you basically just place two of these horses, then you place two long two by fours and the tabletop. It was a simple CNC machine this year, nothing fancy. 
Powermatic machines and the Jets machines. Trent was presenting with some nice diamond files and some nice devices for sharpening different things. Good stuff. And here you could sign up for some classes so you could make this type of furniture. Chip and Dale style. Dubby's cutoff slat. He's the guy who actually invented and manufactured that sled. He's just showing how precise it is. You can make these type of things where precision is required. There was another inventor. He was presenting his sending machines. It's a big model, and this is a smaller one. And you can see right there their name, in case you're interested. Cutting boards. You could come and learn how to make them. and some Benso accessories sold here. Well guys, thank you for watching. Be safe and happy woodworking.